Hello everybody, my name is Brad Mason. I'm the pioneer field agronomist for Western Illinois. You can see the crop is as quickly approaching a fungicide application timing as the corn is about chest high in areas, if not shoulder high in others. And the soybean crop is growing very quickly and flowering for most of the area. So as I talk about fungicide, I wanna talk about approach prima fungicide. The reason being is I wanna talk about more brand specific because it is no different when we go to scout our soybean fields or our corn fields for weeds for a herbicide application. We need to be more brand specific when we start talking about diseases that are present. When I go out and scout a field and I find a certain weed, I'm gonna go pick a herbicide product that works really well on that specific weed. I'm gonna do the exact same thing when I go scout my bean and corn fields. I'm gonna go find fungicides that are labeled specifically for the diseases that I have. As I talk about Approach Prima, you know, I can look at the label and I can see that, okay, when, I, when it comes to gray leaf spot and corn, northern corn leaf blight and tar spot, three of our major diseases that we see in the area, and tar spot being a new one in the last couple of years that has raised a lot of questions and concerns, Approach Prima is labeled for all three of those, and it also has good to excellent ratings on all three of those diseases. So depending on how present that those certain diseases are, you should be selecting a product that works really well on those certain diseases. Same with our soybeans as we look at frog eye, we look at some of the rust, we look at different types of diseases in beans. You wanna select a product that has very good control on those specific diseases. So when I'm talking about an application of Approach Prima, I wanna talk about when should I do that? And one of the reasons I wanna talk about when is because you can see this trifoliate that I've picked here from a bean field and this leaf from this cornfield behind me, they're both green, they're both happy, and they're both healthy. That is the right time to spray a fungicide. It's not when you see disease riddled all over these leaves, because although we talk about, you know, at that VT timing, that is the right time to spray VTR1 and corn, and as we, we talk about in our certain soybeans, you know, a lot of that R2, R3 time frame. Um, we want to make sure we're spraying before those diseases set in. It's no different than a herbicide application. Start clean, stay clean. We're not spraying weeds that are waist high, chest high. We want to spray weeds that either aren't present with a residual, or we're going to spray those small, small weeds before they really can take hold. Same thing with our diseases. We're going to look for that disease lower in that soybean canopy or in our corn canopy and make sure it's not making its way up to rob potential yield. We hear about curatives, we hear about preventatives when it comes to fungicides. And I will tell you, a curative will not bring back dead tissue. So if I have this corn leaf and I have several gray leaf spot lesions all the way up and down this leaf, that dead tissue will not come back if I spray a curative because you cannot make a dead cell come back. So we need to make sure we're spraying this application of Approach Prima before that disease has taken hold. The other thing being said is that when we talk about Approach Prima being sprayed, we hear about a lot of low use rates of water or product applied across that acre. And you say, how is that product being able to cover this at a, you know, a gallon or two an acre? How is that being able to cover my corn plant and make sure, or my soybean plant, and make sure that I'm getting adequate coverage for that disease? So when we talk about how that Approach Prima is absorbed, is it lands on this leaf and it's got four modes of movement that it can move through this plant. You know, it can move basically around the leaf. It can move through xylem, pushing it to new growth, new trifoliates on our soybeans. And it can move through that waxy, uh, uh, move through waxy diffusion and get through this crop to make sure we have adequate coverage. And the reason adequate coverage is extremely important when it comes to Approach Prima is because we have two modes of action in that fungicide class. We've got a group three and a group 11, which is strobilarin and triazole. That will give us adequate protection for when these disease spores land on this leaf tissue. What that does is if you have adequate coverage by it pushing itself out, it will then land on there, that spore will, and it won't be able to germinate because you have that fungicide or approach prima sitting right there to make sure it can't grow. So one of the biggest things I would say to continue with our start, start clean, stay clean, same goes for Approach Prima. We need to make sure we're doing our due diligence scouting, selecting the right product for the diseases that are present to make sure we get adequate control 
and make sure that we're having good conversations with everybody involved to do the right thing at the right time and, and make sure to watch Mike and Emily's video on scouting corn and soybeans for fungicide timing. I hope everybody has a safe season and thank you for watching. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.